The Minnesota Twins. Now, don't get mad and turn the channel yet. Let's talk. I know, I know. You thought just two weeks ago there was a chance. I get it. But you get it too. You know why? Because you're a Twins fan. And this, this is our yearly dance. I will remember you. Will you? Garcia was a member of the Twins for less than a week. That's what makes this video posted on Twins Daily so funny and not so funny at the same time. Does this just mean we've given up then? Well, yeah, that's a hard way to put it, but yeah, probably. They t pretty much signaled as much when they traded for a starting pitcher last week that they thought was going to bolster their rotation. And then they traded him away yesterday, <laughs> uh, sort of signifying to the team that they no longer really believed that this team was going to be a contender this year. And there's pretty good reasons for that. John Bonas is co-owner of Twins Daily. He follows every little detail. Today's detail, the Twins give up reliever Brandon Kinsler to the Washington Nationals at the trade deadline. Are you even paying attention at this point? Do you even care? Twins Daily is getting an uh, enormous amount of traffic today and yesterday. Uh, and it has been for the, the last month. Are these just the twin traditional diehards? Hardcore? Yeah. Yeah, I think it probably is. I wouldn't be shocked if the casual fan is, heads is spinning a little bit, considering you know two weeks ago people thought they might be selling, then last week they were buying, and this week they might be selling. It might be kind of kind of hard to keep up. Do you think that people are at a point where they're tired? Oh, I think people are at the point where they're tired two, three years ago. So should the casual fan like the team give up this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost Viking season. <laughs> I think people were kind of waiting for the bottom to fall out on this team. And when it did finally happen, to some extent, at least it happened before the trade deadline, so they don't end up trading prospects for future years for something that's not going to work. You're always looking for that silver lining. Well, right? that's right, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're a Twins fan, you've got to be looking for a silver lining all the time. That's right, yes, that's right. <laughs> Okay, so I do love baseball, but having me cover something like trade deadline and twins <laughs> is like having me cover math equations, you know, so I'm not going to even pretend that I know exactly what's going on. But John says this is still a good time to go to a baseball game this season because they're starting to bring up those prospects from the minor leagues, especially pitchers. And so you can kind of see what's going on in the future and, uh, and, and just kind of be hopeful for 2018. I still, it's one of my favorite things to do in the state of Minnesota is go to a twins game. It's my second favorite sporting event. The links are my first. Right. They're 19 and 2. Uh, but yeah, the ballpark's beautiful. I mean, you can watch, yeah, it's like watching a garden grow. But yeah, we kind of gave up the season, so. Good. So Time if you to think have about next year, luxury tickets you want to <laughs> give up, unload them on me. I'm your gal. <laughs>